everyone. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I am super excited to open this. I have a um, airbrush kit in here that I got from Meaden Art Company. And I can't wait to see what I got. Okay, I'm going to have to... There, that's good. Got a bit of a cold today, so excuse my voice. We'll do the unboxing, and then I am. Oh, there's another box in here. Um. Well, I guess I can just open it. <coughs> open it like this. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the unboxing, and then I'm going to probably have to read, read the instructions on how to put it all together before I finish the video. Um, see how long it takes. I might, I might be doing a series, like unboxing, um, put it together, and how to use it. Okay, I'm going to have to stand up for this. <clears throat> Alright, so, um, it's quite heavy here. Okay, this is, so this is a company, Meaden. This is airbrush paint. So I'm going to put that... box here. This is the, um, the cleaner, the airbrush cleaner pot. So I'm going to put that down there. Okay, I don't know what this is. It's not marked with anything, so I will open that in a minute. airbrushes here. There's three of them. Okay. This is the needle size and this one is uh, point is 0 0.25 millimeter. So that's one. This one is uh, 0 0.35 millimeter. For the needle. <clears throat> and this one is 0 0.5 millimeter needle. All right. So um, it's quite heavy. I'm going to have to remove this box and then I'll show you. Oh, I've got a, um, a color wheel. Perfect. Put this aside. Oops. So this is the compressor. Oops. Brush compressor. So I am going to start opening up. First, thing I'm going to open up the paint. I'm going to sit down again. camera down a bit. The company name is Meaden and I will have a few links in the description of my video for their website for these products um, and also I am an affiliate with the company. I have a coupon code 
uh, for 10% off if you order anything on their website. I also get a, a small commission once you uh, do order something. So, um, yeah, so everything will be in the description um, of my videos. So. Okay, there is. four colors in here. Okay. And this is the bottles. It says shake well before using. They're cold. I just got the delivery today, so I'm going to let them warm up. This here is the little pot. glass and this is the pot it's supposed to clean your airbrush in here I won't play around with it until I know what I'm doing so that's that one okay um let's see what these are Use the sniveling too. I've got a cold. I'm not feeling that great, but it's getting better. Okay. okay I've got this is I guess the holder for the um for the uh, what do you call it the airbrush. It must attach to the. Um, to the compressor, so that's that. It's an airbrush holder. <coughs> Bunch of little things in here. <laughs> okay, I've got little airbrush or little cleaner brushes cleaning the airbrush. There's some of that in there. I've got a little. A little um, empty container to probably clean with, maybe water, adding water to that. I don't know. And these are, I don't know what these are. Oh, these are little tiny pipettes, uh, syringe things. I don't know what it's for exactly. I guess it's for adding color to your pots or the airbrush. Oh, I can't even open it. Anyway, there's little pipettes in here. Okay, that's that. And these are the little pots that go underneath one of the airbrushes. Um, this one here. four of them. They're quite a nice size too. Okay, so I'm going to put them back in here. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to open up this before I do the airbrushes since I want to find out where the construction booklet is. So here it is right here. So 
Oh, I've got a lot of reading to do. Here is the um, hose. The plug. Um, I'm not going to get this hose right now because it's... Actually, I, I will. I will get it out. <clears throat> Sorry about the other noise that you can hear. We're doing re kitchen rentals right now. Right. Just pulling the plastic off. Okay, that's a nice size pump. Presser, I should say. It's cold as well, so I will not plug it in until it is room temperature. There's the well. Okay, I have to. I have a lot of reading to do before I uh, explain any of this. This looks like. There's holders here for the um, the airbrushes, but I don't know if this is for something else. If you put it put that on a different area, I don't really know for sure. Okay, so uh, this is the pump, or this is the compressor. Sorry. <laughs> okay, just that. And now the airbrushes. This one here is the one that you have to use the little pots on. Oh, and there's another pot in here as well. Right here. Oh, plus it has a little cup to convert it to a cup instead. I'm going to be careful taking this out. I don't know what that is. There's a little tool. There's a little tool, I guess, when you have to clean it and take it apart. A little tiny wrench, and there's more instructions in here. <clears throat> Add the pot to the bottom somehow. Okay, so I will read a lot of stuff before I demonstrate anything. I'm just going to get the instructions out. I think, yeah, how to spray, how to spray. Um, how to clean and all the different parts explains everything in here and there's a list of parts here and it shows all the pictures of of the other things that go along with it and the parts of the airbrush okay so that's that that's one airbrush This is the other one. Oh, that so that one was point the thirty-five millimeter cup or needle. That one was point thirty-five millimeter needle. This one is 
the point zero, a zero point five millimeter needle. Right, there's another one of those pipette things in here. And another little wrench. More instructions. It's quite a good size cup that they have. And there's a little lid to it. I don't know whether it pops off. Yeah, it just pops off. Just pops off. Put the um, paint in here and then put the lid back on. Okay, they all have a little rubber protective thing on the end here so I guess it doesn't get the needle doesn't get damaged in um, transit and we'll get this paperwork out here as well Oops. okay is the 0.25 millimeter needle. Another little pipette. This one is, looks a little bit longer than the one I just Oh no, about the same size. It's a smaller cup and no lid. Yeah, there's no lid on this one. Okay, oh, I'll show it to you. All right. I will do some reading on all this and I will be back. Okay, um, I finished going over the book and I think I, I have an idea of how everything works. I'm going to show you a closer look at, at the uh, pieces that I've got. And um, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, my next video will be I'll, I will be using the uh, demonstrating the pro the airbrush and um, probably I, I'll be demonstrating probably all three of them maybe maybe just two of them um, just using air because I I don't have a uh, airbrush cleaner for using the uh, airbrush paints I don't have that yet so I don't want to add paint into the uh, airbrush um, and not, not be able to clean it properly. So my, so that's why I'm going to be doing a video just using it with air. Um, once I get the uh, cleaner then I'll be demonstrating the um, airbrush and um, compressor with um, a painting with the uh, airbrush, airbrush paints. So there's 24 of them. Um, let me get a better look at them. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's it for the paints. Okay, so this is the, um, the cleaning pot. You would just put the, um, the airbrush in here and spray. Spray out any of the paint that's left in the airbrush and it would go into the pot. In the 
pot, there's a little stand that looks like it connects to this part here. And you would just, it just stops it from tipping over once you put the airbrush in here. And once you put the airbrush in there, maybe it, it helps it uh, not tip over. Okay, so that's that. There's another little one too that they give you. I guess it, whichever one you prefer. Um, here's the cleaning brushes that I got. Oops. There's these ones here. Very, very fine. And these ones here. Oops. And you get four bottles. Four plus the one that's in the airbrush um, package. Here are the little pipettes. Okay, that's them. Um, and here's the hose. I will show you how it connects in a minute. Okay, the airbrushes. Um, there's the. I already took the little uh, cover off the end. It comes with a little, a little rubber cover to protect the needle. And I guess I could, when you want to put it away, you put the cap back on. What you do is you, um, you press down for air and then back for paint. And how depends on how far back you hold it how much paint comes out. The more you hold back, the more paint comes out. Just a little bit of paint, paint you just go, go back a little bit. Okay, so that's that one. This one here. This is the bigger cup. Okay, there's that one. And then this one here, this is the one that has the bottle, so you really you only have five of them. And it has another one that you add to the bottom, a smaller uh, cup. Okay, it has a protective... little little cover on the end because I think this needle is finer than the other ones. I think this needle is very fine. Oh, 35 millimeters. I don't know. It has a cover anyway. And you add it to the bottom. You put it on here. Or this cup here. Whichever you prefer. Okay, there's that one. Okay. The 
compressor. This is the compressor. Has a handle here for when you want to move it around. I haven't plugged it in yet. Um, this is where you would um, put the hose right in here. And the other end goes on the uh, on the airbrush. These are the holders for the airbrush. Just like that. They give you another two holders that you put on right here. You just have to take this uh, red, unscrew this red ring right here, put this over top, and then screw this ring back, red ring back on. I'm not going to put it on right now. There's the gauge is right here. It's right here. Um, okay, what am I gonna say? While you're using the airbrush, water will collect collect in the air filter here. And uh, when you want to release the water, you have to release it every once in a while. You just press the bottom. Okay, I'm going to just see if it's, uh, turn it on and see how, how it works. See how the gauge works. Kind of show you how the gauge works. If I can do that. Um, adjust the PSI to in between 20 and 30. Okay, I'm ready to turn it on. The, the button is at the back here. It's a red button. And watch the dial, it'll move up here. I hear it on my hand, and I have to adjust. It's actually, it's actually adjusted pretty good. If you want it higher, you would lift this up and turn it to the turn it clockwise. If you wanted the pressure lower, you would turn it counterclockwise. It is working. Okay, so that's it for the video. Um, Oh, well, maybe I wanted. Maybe you want to see the back of this. I didn't know if anybody would want to see the back of this. It tells you all the model, everything that you need to know. Anyway. Um. Okay. So this is the end of this video. Um, I will be doing another video, so I will release it probably the next day after I release this one. And it will be demonstrating um, using the air, just the air, and I will use the paint. Um, demonstrate using the paint once I... <coughs> and I will demonstrate using the paint once I get the cleaner or the uh, airbrush. Don't forget the all the links that you need for Meaden uh, to the website to the products will be in the description um, below my video. Um, okay, so thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.